Yo, this is Dash, and uh, I wanted to come out today, and I have a friend that is just getting into some basic grilling, so honestly enough, this video is for you, but not just for you, this is for anyone who needs to learn the basics about using a charcoal grill. So here we go. This is my charcoal grill. It is uh, roughly about 18 inches deep, and about, uh, I think it's about 30 inches wide, okay? So, as you can see, I use my grill pretty regularly. And there is your basic Kingsford charcoal briquettes, which look like this. What briquettes are and what some people don't like about briquettes are they take charcoal or... <clears throat> now this is lump charcoal, right? Now this is just so happens to be Royal Oak um, hardwood lump charcoal brand. But they take this and they pulverize it into a dust and then they use additives and then they form it into even briquettes. With the even briquettes, if they're stacked properly, okay, in the pyramid, they burn a little easier because there's air that can get in there. Now the key to a good charcoal fire is making sure that you build a pyramid one but two, you also have room for air to circulate and get in between there. And <clears throat> that's how your fire will thrive, all right? So now what I've done here is I have a mix of briquettes and the lump because that's just my preference. I like to use the best of both worlds, but typically you always see I put the lump, or excuse me, the briquettes down at the bottom because the lump is small pieces they can fall through the grates because the briquettes are more uniform i put them at the bottom to create a um a better <clears throat> a better base for me to be able to get the lump on top of it so i don't lose i don't lose much lump down through the grates but it still happens so again <coughs> This, this grill here, I've probably had this grill for about five years, if not longer. And this is the only grill that I haven't burnt through. It's a Master Forge brand grill. I think I picked this grill up at like Lowe's or Home Depot. It might have been about $200, $250. And the grates, the cooking grates are still good. The outside of it is starting to show its age. I could, you know, like scuff it or rough it up and then repaint it but honestly enough it sits on the side of the house I take it with me to cook every now and again and the only thing I have had to do is I burnt through the charcoal grate so you see some expanded down there that I just cut to fit in there because you can see that hole there where I burnt through it and uh, the charcoal would fall completely out so that is my grill in a nutshell. So I'm gonna put you up on the tripod and I'm gonna show you how I get the fire started, okay? All right, so hopefully you know what this is. This is a charcoal chimney. My charcoal chimney has seen better days. I use it pretty regularly to the point where I have a bar in here holding up the basket which, is, which holds the charcoal. Now I'm gonna show you a rather unconventional method of starting a charcoal chimney. In the instructions of your charcoal trimming, it'll tell you to take two or three pieces of newspaper and stuff them up under there. I've had newspaper be a little inconsistent. So what I found, if you take some cooking spray and a paper towel, spray the paper towel, don't go crazy. Stuff it under. towel should be sufficient to get your charcoal started. So with that being said, some more popular methods of starting charcoal chimneys are those little paraffin wax cubes or honestly enough in a nutshell or in a pinch 
what you can do is you can take one or two of the briquettes, pour a little bit of lighter fluid on, the, on those teeny little briquettes, light the briquettes, and then put the basket or the charcoal chimney on top, and it'll start your fire as well. Unconventional, yes. Does it work? Yes. All right, I'll let that do its thing. You guys can sit back, and I'll put a time lapse on that working. All right, so at this point, you can see the fire is almost ready, or the charcoals are almost ready, but not yet. Give it another about five minutes. When you start to see the flames coming all the way out the top and all of the coals lit, that's when you take the charcoal and pour it into the rest of your... All right, so at this point, you see all of the coals down in there are all glowing and white hot. Now, this is when we pour it over top that. <clears throat> Now from start to finish, from when I lit the paper towel to right now, it's been about 20 to 25 minutes. So, and I didn't have the, the charcoal chimney full. Had I had it full, it probably would have taken about 25 to 30 minutes. Now, one of the things you need to keep in mind is your charcoal chimney is going to be extremely hot. Make sure you put it down on something that will not catch on fire. So, 
all I did there was make sure I spread some of those hot coals out over top of the coals that are unlit and all I'll do now is uh, let the grill get up to temperature. This grill is adjustable in height, so I can bring the fire up. I know it doesn't sound the best, but it works very well. So I'll bring the fire up to get those grill grates up to temperature. And uh, there you have it. That's how you get your charcoal grill lit. <coughs> and that same principle works on grills like this, on a kettle grill, on a little tabletop grill, all you have to do is get your charcoal lit, put everything into a little pyramid, and you're good to go. Just wait for your fire and your grill grates to get up to the desired temperature, start your cook. Good luck. Keep it simple.